Uh, well, I also want to ask because you, you you brought this up. I I think uh, your your case is uh, it sounds like when you first started, you didn't necessarily look to become in in a a news information cipher people, or you didn't you didn't even think about being alternative news yet. It was really community activism and a desire to do something about it. Yes. Uh, yes. And can you sort of yeah. like, talk about like how how you you got like beyond? I, I know how there was certain a couple of things that happened, but the uh, a lot of times I feel like when things happen, there is just a petition or or a community like people talk about things. But what sort of steps did you finally realize? I I must I I you know there's a chance we can do something about it uh, that we can really get our voice heard. Yes. Well, we've done the petition route in a mm -hmm. few cases. Petit petitions are tough. Petitions yeah. are like hitting the street <laughs> and, you know, talking to person after person. And, and, you know, also, it doesn't completely please me that petitions have to sound quite, mm, quite exciting and narrow. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, in order to get people to sign. And, and you don't always feel great about petition signing either because because you've narrowed your statement. Mm -hmm. You have to have a narrow statement for people yeah. to sign. And they have to know what it's about quickly in the time that it's taking them to pass you on the street. Uh, but you don't feel completely wonderful about signatures because because you know that issues are so much more interesting and uh, mm -hmm. then the petition is going to make it sound. Uh, so it's, it's not, I mean, petition is a good thing to get interest going, but People want, yeah, but petitions don't last forever, and people want to know what's behind it and what the issues actually are. They want to hear from the other side, and we want that too. Uh, so, uh, petition alone, petition's a good start, mm -hmm. um, but we we thought that it would be better to have to to start um, covering the news of our town. Mm -hmm. What we say to people is, we go up to people with flyers when, especially when we started up. Yes present with them with a flyer and say, you know those meetings you don't have time to attend? And if you do attend them, you don't know what the hell they're talking about? Yeah. We're here to help because we're going to sit in those meetings and we're going to tell you what they're saying. Uh. Because, frankly, people really don't have time. Everyone's very, you know, from, you know, what life is like here and there. I mean, everywhere, perhaps. People are very, very busy. And they don't have time to sit in a meeting listening to people talk I wouldn't say randomly, but just talk. Yeah. Um, and the other thing, you know, um, you're young, so I'll tell you this. I don't want to sound like a, an old-fashioned person, but um, but in all the conferences that we go to, yes. I mean, I like I like this Skype. It's my first Skype experience. <laughs> you're doing great. In all the, yeah, but in all the conferences that we go to, they're always full of the you know uh, for the citizen journalism kinds of things, yes. they're always full of the latest technological mm -hmm. um, advances. Yeah. And that's interesting, and I'm not, you know, I'm not a backward person, yeah. but honestly, I think I've thought that it was a big mistake to, um, to run after audience or readership um, by, by continuing to say to people, you know, well, we're all journalists now. Just stick up your phone and film something and send it to us, yeah. and, and that'll, that'll be great. Or, you know, Twitter. We want to hear you on Twitter. Well, yeah. frankly, we don't want to hear people on Twitter. We want to hear people after they've thought about it and written about it and send it to us. That's how we want to hear people. We don't want, we've been very careful. I mean, probably we might have, um, we might have good luck if we put up things like, uh, you know, a vote yes or no. What do you think about what we should mm -hmm. do about this or that? But we don't really, we're not interested in that. We don't want to know what people think fast. We want to know what they think slow. Mm -hmm. So we want them to write to us. We keep saying we're an online newspaper. Mm -hmm. We want what people, what people get when they think about a thing and have to write about it or feel strongly enough about a thing to write about it. So, um, so things like Twitter or um, you know fast tell us tell us this tell us that yeah. is uh, counterproductive for us. So we most of your uh, most of your contributions are from your community, and I, I looked at your site and you have a uh, a, a list of people. Uh, how, yes. how, how many of those are actually uh, from that list 
or you know contributors from all over the place or you could just crowdsourcing people or like or do you have a, a uh, regular group of contributors that you say you know this is what our project is the latter so uh, those people that you see listed are either people we know yes. or people who live in our town who have heard of the paper or read the paper or have themselves spontaneously said I you know I want to write about this um, otherwise you know it was we wanted it to sound very personal we've said we say that um, that we're whatever we're a cross between the New York Times and a church bulletin <laughs> and we decide where that where the needle falls yeah because in something for example there are some uncomfortable things that happen. I mean, everywhere. But you know, there was there was a murder in town a couple of years ago, and although towards the end, I think we reported you know, that so and so, you know, has been sentenced and such and such. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there were kids in school here, and um, we didn't really just as your church bulletin might not, you know, might not emphasize something horrible that's happened to someone. Um, our justification for not going to that story um, till the end was that we said, you know what, if the New York Times is paying attention to it and the Journal News is paying attention yeah. to it, we don't need to. People are picking it up there and we don't care. We don't care that we haven't broken the story of mm. the guy's arrest mm. or, in fact, we'd rather not. So, mm. I mean, that might sound funny to you. We don't think it's a contradiction. We say um, that... Knowing people and having a news outfit that's the size of a community and embedded in the community, um, some people would say, well, that doesn't allow you to cover things objectively. Yeah. But we think it allows us to cover things very well and to, to not um, hurt people or we don't, you know, in all of the um, worry in the, in the world of news mm -hmm. about a gotcha news, yeah. you know this term. You know, it's not a worry here because if we if we do gotcha here, yeah. people would mind. They they won't they won't come back. Um, we're not interested in gotcha. We're interested in working through issues that come up that mm -hmm. uh, have to do with our town and school life. Yes. So um, uh, so it's its own sort of protection, its own self regulating thing. Mm -hmm. um, in fact. I've wondered, I thought, well, if another paper did come that was a gotcha paper, I mean yeah. an internet paper, I thought, could they push us out? Would we lose readership? Would they? And I don't think so. I really mm -hmm. don't think so. So, so, uh, so do you think your, your, your readers, because it is, your, your, your online site is such a community-oriented, that if anything happened, you knew your readers would come to you with it because there's much more of a direct personal connection? Well, by, I mean, well... In the sense, if if they knew that their next door neighbor was being arrested, yes, for something, or or or, 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 or if you if you if you decide to go the tabloid gotcha route and change things yeah. around, and they felt that you were trying to try to sort of exploit something that you that you knew that the community was going to to hold hold you accountable, that it's really the community that's sort of you're serving and watching over at the same time. Yes. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. So, so, yeah. but, but so, and I, think, and I think if 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 hyper local news yeah. outfits are small enough, yes, they, I, I think it would be very hard for them to distinguish them to to have a different position. By the way, which which is not to say that we can't um, be a pain in the ass. Yeah. Um, when we 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 are pains in the ass when we see an issue that is um, that's not being given enough attention, or we suspect, or people suspect. We cover the things we think that people want to hear about. If something doesn't sit right with people, if an issue hasn't been resolved in a good way, if, it, if the process hasn't been great, then people stay annoyed by that. Yeah. And we listen to that annoyance and we mm -hmm. say, that's annoying. We're going to talk back to the people who have not given, um, given the community a, a good chance to, to talk thoroughly about an issue. So we, it's not to say we, we're not gotcha, but we're, but we are, hey, you know, what was that about? We, we want a better thing than that. We want a better way than that to talk about this issue. So we're not just nice. We're nice too, but we also are pains in the ass when we uh, need to be.